Hey, welcome to the replay. Isn't this a beautiful view? Hello and welcome to the LOA Scope with Bob Doyle, who, yes, Dud Duke has joined us. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, whoa, dude, did you get a haircut? Yes, I did. I got a mall cut. And I'm feeling like the kid who goes to school the next day, you know, with just post haircut. Hey, ESL Teaching in Paris, who has joined us here. And uh, it's got that whole awkward just, by the way, we, uh, we're being photobombed. Um, by Lynn Rose, at Lynn Rose. C11 Jess has joined as well. See, I brought, I, I remembered my readers this time. I remember the readers. Okay, come on now, six people in the room. No, 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 this will never do. This is an LOA scope. Sweary Fairy has joined. Thank you, Sweary Fairy, nice to have you here. Hey, ESL, hold on. So I don't keep calling you ESL, provided that your name is on here. Let's find out. It's not. I'm gonna see these down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, that happens. Anyway, welcome. It's nice to have you here. Menta, Menta, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Simone. Nice to have you here, Simone. Living life. Well, you couldn't be more simple than that. I mean, in a good way. Lovely to be here as ever. Well, it's lovely to have you here. And feel free, everyone, to, uh, yes, thank you, like ESL Teaching in Paris invited followers, because we're talking about being the change. Come on. This is a this is a far, Chef Tammy is in the house, or the apartment, or the restaurant, or the private investigation squad vehicle thing that she is part of during the day, or whatever. So hey, I got a few things I want to say, but I sure, Claire, thanks for being here. I sure wish that we had uh, a few more people in here. It's Friday, what's the deal? You're not all just hanging out waiting for Bob to start his Friday Law of Attraction scope? Well, I thought we had a deal. Thank you, Chef Tammy. Eight people. What? Am I on the wrong channel or something? What is going on here? I don't think so. I haven't changed my ID. Well, you know what? You know what? That's fine. It'll just be the nine of us. Me and the eight of you. But normally we've got like 30 people in here. I don't understand. Ray Inc. has joined. Ray Inc. has joined. And there's Lynn Rose. How many do you have? That's what it is. See, Lynn photobombed and everybody said, oh, I'm not watching this. How many do you have? Nine. Nine. Wow. Joel Kahn only had 12. So that's true. Joel Kahn, who normally yeah, has tons. Maybe that's it. I'm going to blame Periscope. Yeah. Something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Blame the scope. Right. Or, yeah, like everybody's notifications got turned off or something. Maybe that's it. Anyway, thank you for the hearts, though. I appreciate see the love of those of you who are here. That will push me through this entire thing. So we've got some exciting scopes coming up over the next week. Scopes and blabs and all kinds of fun stuff. It's almost like Lynn sitting on my shoulder, like my good conscious. And then if I had an evil Lynn oh. over here. <laughs> I, I can move. I'll get here. Hi, Jonathan hey. Chapman. Now you won't see me anymore. Uh, you, you're going to see you. But anyway, it's all right. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Mm, 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 mm. They're like vitamins. <laughs> okay. For those of you who are new, my name is Bob. Bob Doyle. And I was featured. Well, I was one of the featured teachers. Lynn likes me to say expert. Yeah, I was one of the featured experts in the film The Secret, which shortly thereafter, Melanie Bundock is here. Are we having some fun or what, Melanie? Right? People love that scope. And I love the fact that you did the three takeaways. That was really awesome. So I shared that too. So I've been, uh, I've been very fortunate recently to be guests on other people's blabs and blabs, really. And um, that's been awesome, meeting new people and um, just, you know, having people ask great questions and things like that. And Melanie and I did one last week. I got another one coming up on Monday as a guest with Sherry Gideons. I can't type in how to find it, but you could do a search uh, for her on Blab. Anyway, lots of fun stuff. And by the way, <clears throat> all of these things that I'm doing, uh, obviously on my channel, all my Periscopes, all my Blabs, and even when I'm a guest on somebody else's, I ask for a recording of it so that I can post it on my stuff. And so if you ever just want to catch up with everything I've done on Scope, uh, Periscope, Blab, wherever, um, and even the things that Lynn and I do, if I remember to tell her to upload it, um, <laughs> you can go to BobDoyleShow.com. And it's just it's basically just a simple blog where all of my stuff is archived. So you can see past Periscopes. and But you'll also see all the other things that I post on that blog, which is like the things that I do with Lynn or if I take an Instagram picture or things like that. Beach Baby C is joined. I am, I am, beach, baby, beach, baby, now see, that's, it's one thing to sit in the background, but provide a soundtrack. All right, now we got 21 in the room. Thank you. Now I believe that we can begin to begin. Or 23, I love it. 24, yes. Thank you very much for saying so, Emily. I, um, I actually do a lot of voiceover work. And um, 
So I was just doing some just before this periscope, and I'll be doing some right after this periscope. So, um, yeah, so anyway, what my basic gist there at the beginning was stay tuned next week. Lots of fun stuff. I'm going to be starting a series of scopes. I'm not going to tell you the topic of them yet, but, um, but a series of scopes of some of the most life-changing ahas I've had over the past, let's say, six months to a year uh, due to one of my favorite mentors of all time. And I'm going to be sharing in-depth things about what I got of it, how you can get out of it, and, how you, and what you can get out of it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to start that series for the next couple of weeks. It's going to be really awesome. Sonia! Sonia Riccati, ladies and gentlemen. Follow her, but don't leave me until I'm done. So good to see Sonia in the room. Now I know what's going to happen. She's going to be, I, was only, I can only check in for a couple of minutes, but want to say hi, and then she's out of here. After I get a big hug. So, mm, thank you. Isn't it nice that Sonia can hug me right in front of Lynn? I'm hugging her too. I oh, it's a hug fest. It's a hug fest. All right. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to make sure I had those announcements. By the way, the past couple of blabs that we've done uh, have been on the topic of happiness. And it's, it's some great stuff has come out. If you didn't see the blab, yes, was it yesterday? No, Wednesday um, with uh, Marion Sprissler, one of our coaches. Go, Got to go check that out. And then we did one two weeks before that with another one of my coaches named Nori Love. Both of these had awesome like literally like almost step-by-step -step tips on how you can shift into a state of happiness when you're when you're not anywhere near that. So I would recommend that you uh, join, uh, check those out. All right, 37 in the room. Yes, yes, yes. Probably because Lynn invited followers. At least that's the credit she's going to take. Someone else invited followers too. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who have invited followers. So I wanted to talk about Be the Change because this whole, when it comes to uh, a law of attraction uh, conversation, yeah, yeah, the whole, the whole, um, distinction of being is super powerful and I use it I, I talk about it in just about every interview I do and whenever I'm on stage and all of this <clears throat> I never really put it in the context of be the change as in be the change you want to see in the world in terms of that quote but because of some stuff coming up um, I'm definitely going to be doing that and I wanted to share that with you too so there's a tie in here and I guess I let me let me tell you about what's happening first and then we'll get right into the be the change um, I don't. I, I mentioned this on my blab the other day, and I will be mentioning it for a while because now's the time to be talking about it. But you know, I don't really go out and speak that much. I, I generally do things here, and and if there's an event every now and then, I'll get up on a stage if someone invites me or whatever. But it hasn't. Been, it's been a while I, since I got on stage and got to interact in that type of environment. But really exciting stuff happening next year. Um, somebody's put together the Be the Change tour. This is 30 different speakers in this personal development space or whatever, touring all over the country. And we each have certain little circuits. And I've never done a tour circuit before. You know, I go do a one-off event and that's it, I'm home. This is a tour of, of cities where I'll be traveling, you know, in gr like groups of five or six of us will be traveling around doing these circuits. And that's really exciting to me. I've never done anything like that. And the topic is Be the Change. Uh, be the change you want to see in the world. So we're all going to be talking about how you can do that, what that means, and, and so on. And uh, my stuff happens in March. If you go to uh, bobdoylelikesthis.com slash be the change, it will bring you to this page. I know this is very low tech. And then you'll scroll down, if, if I can remember how to do that here. And uh, you'll see me. And then you scroll down more and you'll see all these other teachers who are on this tour. Um, it's really an amazing group. And, and I'm going to get to meet some people in person and be on stage with people that I've only heard of, you know, and, and really get to, to play in that space. Um, I'm going to be doing my thing in, um, in March, March 7th, basically through the 10th in Sacramento, San Francisco, then San Jose and Irvine. So if you're in that area or can get to that area in March, go check out BobDoyleLikesThis.com slash Be The Change. And there's all sorts of different ways you can, you know, different ticket levels or whatever. At that site, when you first get there, you'll see this little, there's a gift. And so all of the speakers have contributed products into this package that you can get for free. And it's a $300 value, I think, all combined. And, just, you know, that's not an obligation to go to the event or anything. That's just a gift from all the speakers. So, and, of course, I contributed something because I'm just a generous giving guy. Anyway, so check that stuff out. So in that to topic of conversation around Be the Change, I just want to talk about that because, you know, all of my all of my scopes are really 
I think the point of them is have you ask questions to yourself and really motivate and inspire yourself to take some sort of action or to be something that maybe you're not being right now that you aspire to be. The difference between being so, so let me let me back up. When I first started in this industry, if I when I started teaching the law of attraction, one of the things that was a, a powerful distinction between me and I think a lot of other people who get started was that I made a decision to be someone who could communicate these principles, you know, powerfully and, and effectively uh, to any open, willing mind possible. Not that one day I wanted to be. Not that I aspired to be, not that I was going to work towards that, like one day I'll be like a Bob Proctor or, you know, whatever. I just decided that no, today, starting today, I'm a person who can effectively communicate these principles in a way that can change people's lives. And I really want to underscore that that is not about ego or arrogance. It's about personal power. It's about knowing who you are, what you, what value you want to contribute in the world and just making a decision to be that. So I would ask all of you to look at, and, and if you've never wondered about this, if you've never inquired with yourself around this, what is the change you want to see in the world so that you can then step into being it? So let me give you, uh, let me, let me give you more detail. So I wanted to be what the change I wanted to see in the world. Okay. Now I wasn't thinking in terms of this back then. This is in retrospect that I realized that I was doing this. <clears throat> you know, I know I wanted to be that powerful communicator, but what I was really wanting to do was be this change in the world. The change I wanted to see in the world was that people could be who they are, exactly who they are, follow their passions and make a huge impact and prosper doing that. I wanted to live in a world where people didn't have to hate their jobs, didn't have to do something they didn't want to do, didn't have to to push down the things that they're really truly passionate about for whatever reason, whether it's feelings that you're not good enough or they don't deserve it or whatever, you know, I wanted to live in a world where everybody could just be playing their role, doing their part. And we could all just, it all works together in this perfect puzzle. So for me, so to see a, a, a world where that is possible, the change had to start with me. So, so I of course had to be that change that I wanted to see in the world. So that means, that I needed to step into being someone who was following my passion, being abundant, making a difference, having impact, adding value to people's lives, right? So I stepped into being that change. That wasn't going to happen. My experience of the planet was never going to be that we could all follow our passions and be prosperous and all that if I wasn't doing it, right? I, the change I wanted to see in the planet was not that everybody else could do it except for me. <laughs> you know, I wanted to be a part of that change I wanted to see in, in the world. And so what is the change that you want to see in the world? And what are you doing to be that change? Now that's actually a question that I'm asking you. And if you can, if you're comfortable with it, if you'd like to, I'd love to, I think it would be very inspiring to other people to see in your comments, what is the change you, if you can do it in a sentence, what is the change you want to see in the world? And then what are you, how are you being that? This is probably that kind of level of detail is probably best suited for a blab, but you want to change the music industry. Amen. I hear you. That is also, that's another change I'd like to see and be in the world. I've always been a musician my whole life and I really, I love the way that it's going uh, with the internet and how we can, as, as music musicians can put ourselves out there and kind of bypass all that mess, but I would love to do that. Uh, I want to see people dropping judgment and being unconditionally accepting. That's so Lynn, Lenny Lynn. And that is, and so that's something I know that Lynn is taking on for herself. Uh, I'm going to change the maternity system. Yes, we're C-section crazy. I would agree with that. That's a great, that's a great change to be. So I'm wondering, what are you doing to be that change? You're lost. Hold on, P. Frailing. Hold on. Let's, let's, first of all, let's get your name so I can, Pam, how are you? So you're a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant, for example, helping women achieve financial independence. So I'm assuming perhaps that you have a passion for helping women become financially independent. And you, if you're really into this Mary Kay thing, then there's something about, you know, beauty or helping women find their inner beauty or whatever that, that you, that you, that you have that drives you through your passion to help these other women. So you have stepped in. If you are really in this, you are eliminate bullying. Awesome. Uh, if you're really in this, you're being that change. You're being someone, you're being a woman who is financially independent and so on. That's what I, that's, that's kind of what I mean, but maybe that's not exactly what you were, you were wanting. Okay. So let's see, I want to help women stop playing small in business. That's awesome, Claire. So what are you, how are you being that? Um, I'd like to unapology. Yes. Unapologetically be myself. Now, let me tell you something. I didn't have enough time to click your name to see who you were, 
But that has always driven me too. You know, being unapologetic for who you are because we so judge ourselves and we shame ourselves and we let other people's opinions of us shape our opinion of ourselves. And it's hard to be any kind of change if that if we're letting the outside dominate, you know, how we feel about ourselves. And if we feel scared or timid about just being who we really are, then clearly, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge to be that change. So getting into, you know, stepping into the power of who we are and being un, unapologetic. You know, one of the things that I think stops us from just being who we are and uh, unapologetic is just the word because who the hell are we apologizing to? Right. We're apologizing to the people who are in our lives and around us who we believe will judge us or do judge us or whatever. Right. So but as long as we keep playing small or keep being who we've been being, those same people are going to still be there and they're going to be the same way towards you. It is only when you step out of that comfort zone and step powerfully into being that other thing unapologetically. Some of those people may fall away because they're like, I don't get that. I can't be that. They're intimidated by that. That's generally what it is. You know, if you feel like you have to apologize for who you're being, it's because you've made somebody uncomfortable, most likely because they go, well, I wish I could be, I wish I could play that full out, but I don't. So I'm going to judge them and tell them that they shouldn't or something along those lines. Am I right? Am I right? That's deep. Peanut gallery. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's great. Hi, MJJ lover 97. Um, so anyway, yeah, so being unapologetically you is awesome. And it is definitely the, the, one of the first steps into being the change you wish to see in the world. Discomfort is good. Get out of that comfort zone. That's right. If you don't move out of that comfort zone, it, it, it's moving through a comfort zone is built into having a bigger and better life because you're where you are because you're comfortable with it. You're, you're vibrating. You're communicating with the universe. It says, oh, you know, maybe you don't like it. Maybe there is some discomfort there, but it's more comfortable to stay where you are than, that, than to move through the big stuff. And that's why... About to do a scope. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I got a little distracted because of the comments. You know how that, that goes. So who else? Who else? I, I, this is awesome to see. And I, if I didn't comment on it, post it again because I want to see what you guys are up to. What is this change you want to be in the world? And then, yeah, just a couple more. Let me just see a couple more. How many people aren't sure? How about that? How many people are like, they don't know? who they want to be. They're not clear on that change they want to see in the world. How many people does that... Steve Mann in the house. How many people does that apply to? Soul empowerment approaches for social justice work. Awesome. Hold on one second. I'm just going to see if I can get a name. Ashley Co. Uh, hold on. I've got, I've got these this time. Taking healers to the next level. Energy medicine, intuition development, Reiki classes. See, these are all really awesome impactful things to be change the way people look at others with autism see this is also this is awesome thank you epic wish um you i want the race label to stop yes who doesn't right so who are we being to make that happen because it's one thing to look out in the world and go wow i wish this would change and do nothing about it and and again it's there's there's it's also a difference between doing and being and right now we're talking about being Thriving and prosperous healers. Yeah. So what? Yeah. What's the deal with healers? Uh, and that's look. It's not true. I, we, Lynn, and I truly know a lot of healers who make a lot of money who are not at all shy about asking for what they're worth. But there is this mentality, right, um, among healers and some of these that that whole that whole you know what I'm saying, where it's feel like, well, I can't really charge too much because these people need this or they don't have that or whatever. And if that is where you sit, if that's your belief system, you will continually attract the people who don't have money, who can't pay the fees you want. You're going to feel okay because you're helping them, but you, but trust me, you raise your fees, you raise your own personal sense of value and really truly own it. You got to own it. Um, you know, you'll find the people who get it. And they'll probably, you know, they'll probably be regulars and they'll probably, it'll probably even be more effective. Scarcity, is that, that's something that you want to change? Uh, we are all amazing. Imagine if we all stepped into these changes. That's right. If we all honored the change we want to see in the world by being it, you know, and it's not even necessarily that you know how to be it. With me, I didn't know how I was going to be you know, an effective communicator of these principles and all that. But I made the decision and I'll tell you what happened was I just started getting all of these downloads, like all these distinctions in ways that I could communicate the law of attraction in ways that other people weren't doing. I had never thought of them before. They just kind of came to me. I advocate and explain to people every time my autistic son has a public meltdown. Oh, wow. So that's fantastic. So in the moment of opportunity where other people would be like, oh my God, 
you you have an opportunity. So I wonder how else you could play even bigger than that. I'm glad I came, I'm glad you came across my scope too. I love having you folks here. I hope you're following. You know, click the little person icon, click uh, follow, and and you can join me on my scopes. I do these scopes. Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, uh, Pacific time, and then on Wednesdays I do at 10 a.m. Pacific I do a blab, uh, which is a little more interactive when you have a guest and stuff like that. I don't know who Christian Gray is, but of course now I'm going to have to go look him up. Uh, I have regular blabs, yes, every Wednesday at 10, and then uh, you know I've been a guest on a lot of blabs recently, and I will be again next week, and I love doing that too. So if you have a blab and this is a topic of conversation that you like to discuss and would like to dive d deeper, just ask me. I would love to do that. It's just so much fun to to do blabs. I love that even more than Google Hangouts and more than it's just there's something about the vibe of blab that I absolutely love, just like Periscope, you know. Lynn and I were talking, well, we talk a lot about this actually, because we did a podcast for three years on another platform called Spreaker and it was propagated to iTunes and stuff like this. We couldn't get a live listener to save our lives. Periscope comes along. Uh, fictional character from Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. Um, Periscope comes along, Blab comes along, and suddenly we've got live, we've got interaction, we've got followers. It's really amazing what these platforms and others like them have done for not just us, but for people who have a message and want to get out there and create an intimate connection. And I, I will tell you something that this is another example. This whole platform and doing things the way that we're doing with is is part of the change I want to see in the world too. More connected, more real, more genuine, more authentic, you know, where, you know, me in the position I'm in, I'm in this weird situation where I have this passion for communicating this message and I've decided to live on the internet to do it, which means I have to do a lot of things that inter internet like marketers do, like send email and build lists and stuff. And honestly, there's, there's, that's not the juice for me. A long time ago it was, it was kind of cool. And now it's like, you know, I know people don't like getting all this email and, you know, and then and then what happens is is you get people who have a very genuine message and a heart, and they want to connect, and then they're perceived as something that they're really not because we're using the same medium as all these other people who have a different level of agenda. So to have this way to communicate with people, even though it's you know talking to 29 people is a lot different than sending an email to thousands and thousands of people, it's better, right? I mean, this form of communication, the connections that we as individuals make with these platforms is so much it you'll never duplicate that with an email there's just no way and um, and so if you're if you're not using this if you're just a spectator on blab and, and periscope but you have a message you would like to be doing this you just got to do it you just have to start I'm telling you you can be nervous you can be whatever there's no you can't screw it up because people on periscope and blab are very you know you're always gonna get a troll or whatever every now and then although I hardly ever ever do um, um, but people are very forgiving and they're encouraging and they want you to succeed and they want to support you. You just bring your message, right? Be that change. And this is a great safe way to do it. You don't have to try and fill a room. You don't have to build an email list. Just hit broadcast, you know, just hit broadcast and start being the change you want to see in the world and see what happens. It, you're, it, it's going to change your life. I'm telling you. All right. Well, great. So I've been inspired by what you've what you've been sharing about the changes that you want to be, and so I'm really again just challenging you to what can you do to step up your being of that, not aspiring to be that, but like starting today. What could you do that you're not already doing to be that change that you want to see in the world? What can you do differently? Can you do a can you do a periscope? Can you do a blab? Can you write a book? Can you? I don't know, whatever. I love seeing a supportive community here on Periscope, especially for new scopers. Yeah, it is. It's great. Nobody boos you off the stage when you're new, you know. And if they do, you block them and you move on because they're, you know, it's nothing personal. It has nothing to do with you or your message or anything. I think that's, if there's anything, my energy and creativity exists at the ocean. Yes, we live by the water too. And, you know, I don't spend nearly enough time by the water to for the very sole purpose of inspiring creativity. I go down there to get quiet and to connect and just go, oh, I love this so much. But hold on, this is the view outside my place right now. Hold on, I'm going to just flip the camera around. This is what we see every day outside of our window, you know, definitely something to be grateful for. So yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I can't complain. Um, but all of this is possible. I live here, I have the life I have, because I committed to being the change. 
right? So from where I was when I started this work to from where I am now, it's quantum leaps. It's entire lifetimes of change and transformation that has occurred. But it all started with stepping in. Great, Claire, I'd love to be on a blab with you. Are you kidding me? That would be awesome. You should do a blab or a scope. Just try it. And look, just believe me. Look, I, yes, I'm blessed, but let me tell you something. When we're blessed, when, when we have a life that is blessed, I'm telling you, we are, it is because of who we're being or what we're doing. I, I don't believe that someone somewhere made a choice that says, I'm going to bless this person, but not that person. No. The blessings come into our lives because we honor who we are. We honor our vision. We honor our passion. We commit to that. And then we're in alignment with the things that we call blessings. So we've blessed ourselves by honoring who we are. Now that gift of who we are, that comes from somewhere, you know, the infinite intelligence, whatever, however you'd like to define that. Our unique gifts, our unique passions, all of that, that's our gifts coming into the world. Now it's up to us to do something with them or be something with them, right? And then when we do, we get the reward and we say that we are blessed. So I'm blessed and I took a lot of action and I honored a lot of, uh, you know, um, intuition and, and I had to move through a lot of discomfort, right? To, to move into alignment with what I now have, um, which is filled with blessings. And, and all of you can do that. Every single one of you can, can start that. And, and here's the thing. I mean, when, if <clears throat> I gotta say that a lot of being the change is going to require not you just being an independent Island and doing visualizations about the change you want to be. It's going to be about really enrolling others to support you in your vision. You know, if you have a, a big change you want to see in the world, you know, you can be the catalyst, but then you want to attract others who are in alignment with that and, and, and really build up that energy and become a real force. And so I have had tremendous support over the course of the years. This isn't something, you know, this, what I have now is not the result of just me doing stuff all by myself. It's about putting myself out there and then attracting people who can help, help move me along the path. Right. And so when you start this, when you begin to step into being the change, all, first of all, all that noise is going to come up. Who are you to do that? Your ego is going to start screaming and all of that. And it's very easy to get stopped. But that's why you need a support system. You need either a coach or a community or something like this, you know, that you can do on a regular basis that keeps you in the conversation even when things get tough, right? So just, just remember that when you start this, when you take this on, your ego might do something to make you feel silly or stupid or small or stopped or just too scared to take action to step into being this change you want to see in the world. And just know that that's normal. Of course that's going to happen. Of course it's going to happen because, you know, you're asking, you're, you're, you're stepping into something bigger. So that discomfort comes in. So what are you going to do when the discomfort happens? When you decide to be that change? So that's, I'm, I'm sure, and I'll certainly be talking about it when, if, if you if you can come to that Be the Change Tour and see any of us anywhere in the country talking about this, you, that would be, I, I'm sure you would get a lot of value out of that. And the things that are in this free thing that you can download um, there. And that again, that's bobdoylelikesthis.com slash be the change, no spaces or anything. bobdoylelikesthis.com slash be the change. You can get this package of stuff. All of this in support of you identifying the change you want to be, committing to being that change, and then taking action and being able to be persistent through when, when you get stopped in there. Because I'm telling you, if all of, if everyone on the planet could be the change that they truly wanted to see in the world, they just imagine what would happen. Just imagine what would happen if we were all following our passions, doing exactly what we wanted to do, being supported by exactly the right people, attracting the right people, whether it's colleagues or customers or students or relationships or whatever, just because we are authentically standing powerfully for who we are and whatever change we want to see in the world. So, but it all starts with us. It's all, it all starts with those of us who, who get inspired to do that. So if that's you, then awesome. Let's do it. Let's really take on, be, thank you very much, Lynn Hugs. Uh, yeah, that's the link, bobdoylikesthis.com slash be the change. And then that's how you can find out like, uh, cause I mean, we're all over the country. Now I'm in Northern California for this circuit. So again, Sacramento, San Francisco, San Jose, and Irvine from March 7th through the 10th. That's when I'll be there. But there's so many of us, there's 30 of us and all over the country. So there, there's no question that if, it's, you know, if you're in the United States, that we're coming to a town relatively near you. And um, 
I think there may be ways, I, you know, I'm not sure. There's so much to this. It's, a, it's really, and I kind of have come in, it's kind of swooped in at the last minute. Um, so I'm still learning more about this, but I would love to meet any and all of you who could make it out to any of those events and you can find out the event schedule and how that's working. Any scientific basis to any of this? Yeah, that's, that's all I talk about is this. I mean, that's the whole point of my work is to bring this whole conversation of the law of attraction and energy and all of that out of the woo woo and into a more scientific grounded thing. And so there's some quantum physics there that isn't mind boggling. And, you know, it's, it's really the first step of my work when I'm really working with someone is to get them to realize that this is real. This, there is science to this. It's not a woo woo thing because what, it, it, if you can't get that, if you're still doubting that part of it, then the rest of the conversation is going to go through this filter of con constant judgment and doubt and all of that. Um, tour information is on that website. Yes. You can learn all about all the different cities and which speakers will be there, what they're going to talk about, all of that. Um, so yeah, you, you know, you have to have, and that was my whole thing when I first started in this conversation is I wanted to believe it, but I, you know, I was too, I'm a son of a school teacher. I was very logical and analytical and, and even skeptical, even though I didn't want to be, I wanted to believe it, but that my brain was never going to let me jump into a law of attraction conversation without some kind of science behind it. It just, you know, as much as I would have wanted to, and I tried for like a year before I finally got into, uh, you know, digging a little bit more into the physics of thought and all just the how, anyway, it's crazy. Um, thank you. Your free meditation video on your site is freaking awesome. That is very nice of you to say. You can get that. He's talking about uh, meditation. You can get at Bob Doyle uh, Gift, BobDoyleGift.com, or at, and the, that site right there, BobDoyleGift.com, is just getting that meditation. You can also go to BoundlessLiving.com, which is our the, the company website where you can learn more about me, and it has links to lots of free YouTube video, lots of free stuff, including that meditation. So CDs are awesome. Thank you, boy. This is just oh, what a great group, right? Couldn't have arranged this. Lovely. So, well, thank you for all the support, guys. I really appreciate that. And, and thank you for those of you who shared this scope. I went a little longer this week than I normally do. I normally keep it to 30 minutes. But I think this topic is just so... Because here's the thing. From a law of attraction point of view, you know, if you truly step into being the change you want to see in the world, you don't even need to know about the law of attraction or how it works or vision boards or any of that techniques or any of that. It just happens automatically. When you powerfully step into being something then you're going to just be automatically in alignment with a, a wonderful things happening, you know, and, and it really, it's, it's kind of like, um, what do I say? Like when, when you're really living in a state of passion, when you're doing something that you love and you're not worrying about, well, is this going to make me money or is this whatever? And you're just really doing that. Then you're naturally just things just work on autopilot. Look, people, <laughs> people had amazing lives for years and years and thousands of years without knowing anything about the law of attraction. It is not a requirement to understand how the law of attraction works in order to have a happy, prosperous life. And in no way would I ever suggest that. However, if you are struggling with having a happy, successful, abundant life filled with great relationships, etc., if you're having trouble aligning with your passion and seeing great results and contributing your value, then an understanding of what's going on at an energetic level can absolutely help you to shift that. And that's what, to me, that's what the study of the law of attraction is about. Not about being a student of the law of attraction for the rest of your life. It's about moving into alignment with your natural way of being. Because so many of us have removed ourselves from our natural way of being. We live in a state of resistance. We live in a state of fear and worry and anxiety and doubt and limitation, all of that. Because that's what we've been taught. It's not our natural state, but it feels natural now. So understanding just enough of a law of attraction understanding to go, ah, okay, I see why this has happened. I see how I'm in alignment with this. This is how I'm going to shift it. And then you just, it, but it all comes down to you just honoring who you are and living your life full out, being powerfully who you're meant to be. And then things just work, you know, whether or not you have ever watched the secret or read anything I've ever done or do any of my meditations or any of it, you know, so Alrighty, my coffee is now lukewarm and I can no longer drink it. You guys invited all these followers and I'm really wrapping up right now, but thank you so, 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 so much for following. And if you're just joining, you can watch the replay. Um, and I hope that you do. I think we, you know, this is a topic and it's very inspiring. Um, 
talking about the secret even before I knew what it was. Lots of people, yeah, yeah, lots of people saw the secret and said, I've been saying this, I've been, I knew this, or it, it awakened a knowing in people, you know. In other words, it wasn't like the first time. They may have heard the words for the first time, but it, it brought out a familiar feeling, a knowing, something deep that's when all of us, because we are all meant to be creators of our own experience, you know. So, you know, being shown that gives us a, like, I knew that. Yeah, I'm, it's like a remembering of something we'd forgotten before we even were conscious of being able to remember things. I think I said that poorly. All right. Thank you all for being here. And thank you for sharing. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the excitement. And thank you for sharing what you're up to. And now I'm just inviting you to, to go do that. If you want to check out the, the uh, BobDoyleLikesThis.com slash Be The Change site and, you know, avail yourself of those gifts there. If, that, if those can help you um, shift into that being, then that would be awesome. And I would be thrilled to, to hear about that later, too, if you do take advantage of that stuff. And I'd uh, love, love, love to see you in March as we do, as we do the tour. Um, you can check out all the different ticket options. There's ticket options that allow you to like have a dinner with the speakers and all that other stuff. You just, you decide what you want to do, but that's awesome. Um, and I'm very excited about doing that. All right. So it's Friday. I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Um, I will be doing my, um, uh, law of attraction scope again on Monday here on Periscope at 10 a.m. Pacific. And then I'm trying to remember what time, but I'm, then I'm on a blab with Sherry Gideons on Monday as well. And then next Wednesday uh, at 10 p.m., I'll be doing a blab with Christine Thorpe, who is one of my Boundless Living coaches. We're going to be talking about a very popular subject around like keeping your energy high and, and, and um, you know, how to deal with negativity and all of these things I get lots and lots of questions about. And um, so I'm excited about that as well. And you can go to, I haven't, oh, I haven't scheduled it yet, so you can't subscribe to it yet. So I'll schedule that. Um, but you can go to blab.im slash Bob Doyle Secret and see any of the past blabs that I've done and then uh, um, and then when I schedule that one. And follow me there, and then when I schedule it, you'll get a notification, uh, and then you can subscribe to it so you won't miss it. And of course, I'll remind you on Monday as well. Okay, you guys, thank you for all of you who are new. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you do follow, and I hope you come, right, come back here regularly and participate and comment and share and all of those other things. Thank you, Melanie, that's awesome of you to, to, uh, to post those, to post the uh, URLs. Thank you to all of you who did that for me, because obviously we can't do that here on our end. All right. Enjoy your weekend. And I will talk to you on Monday. Go be that change.